So what I was actually thinking was, if you compare you know, a vernacular state uh -huh, to yeah. you know something of a more complex, individualistic uh -huh. kind of um, establishment, yeah. you really find that the, uh, the data shows mm -hmm, mm -hmm, more of a, uh, a vernacular parallel. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's that vernacular parallel that really conveys the uh, the illustration of the system that perpetuates the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Community values. It's exactly you know what I was talking about at my at my last lecture was this sense of you know conflict between you know the community and the, the values. Sometimes <laughs> they don't really, they don't really add up. So you know, in order to um, kind of uh, kind of evaluate this showcase, um, you know, variables, it's really important to think about, you know, what does the youth think? What what are we yeah, addressing yeah. here? And I actually um, wanted to in, impose a query upon you um, about the you that thinks. Um, how would you say that plays into the relativity <laughs> of the social dynamic? Um, that, you know, I have actually gotten asked that question before. That is a really good question. Um, if you do listen to my podcast, um, oh yeah, I have I have to counseling been. for the vernacular. Um, yeah, yeah, we do cover that in episode fifty-three. But you know, in, in case you haven't, um, it's a good question. You know, the way I approach it is, you know, just to look at the data and you know, what are we doing with this uh, type of yeah. evidence? You know, are we are we making pie charts? Are we mm -hmm. are we writing? the particular comparison of <laughs> yeah 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 um <laughs> continue i it's very interesting <laughs> very fascinating point to yeah bring up. and like and look at you know for example the lgbt community oh uh, what course, are we doing yeah. with them like <laughs> <laughs> so i think that in the lgbt community there is definitely a shift towards the movement of the community itself, if you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. And I think that plays into how the girl community. <laughs> that. <laughs> that plays into <laughs> the community of women, especially in science yes, industries, yes, yes. and how they go back around to the correlation of the exploration. Yes. Yes. Of course. So you see what I'm saying. Yeah, that yeah. is something I did cover a couple years back when I was in Africa. Uh -huh. We did <laughs> We did talk about, you know, these complexities of, you know, women in STEM, are they making blue raspberries real anytime soon? Or is that just a myth? Yeah. That you know the government's made up. You know politicians these days they like to tell lies. We know that. We've seen yeah. that. You know, and many researchers say that. You know, if you fill a boat with butter, you're gonna get exactly, sunk exactly in the water. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, like in in my research um, around the world and working with so many different types of communities and cultures, I have found that. The, the issue with blue raspberries is that the intricacies don't parallel the impossibilities. If yes. You, yes, 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 yes. That is why it has taken such a vast amount of time for the women in STEM to really line up the opportunities to cultivate the of raspberries. Course. Yes, very great insight. And you know, we also need to pose the question like, how is this affecting the gaming community? Yes, yes, I always do love to bring that up in my lectures. <laughs> We've been doing this for so long. 